Is it possible this handheld $11 speaker from Amazon can power much larger bookshelf speakers? Let's find out that and a lot more coming up next. Recently during the Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sales, this mini Bluetooth speaker with VU meter was selling for under $11 after discount. I'm like, man, I got to get one of these and take a closer look. So let's check it out. Here on the very colorful box, you can see BSZHI is the brand transparent speaker system. They have different countries that they're consulting with. The model is the K07 600 milliamp battery, 5 watts. We'll check all that out later. Comes in two different colors. We did choose the black transparent model. So let's open it up and take a closer look and see what it's all about. Includes a one foot USB-A to USB-C cable for charging the unit. And the manual has literally three pages of English. Talks about the specifications, how to use it, just all the basics that you need to get you going. And here, let's get the speaker out of the package so you can see it. They call it a small gun wireless speaker. I'm not sure if that's just bad Chinese translation or what. But man, overall, this thing looks really slick. It looks as good as it does in the pictures. Here you can see the 1.5 inch or 40 millimeter active speaker. Also the nine segment LED meter on the front. Flipping the unit around to the back, we have the USB-C charging outlet to use that cable that came with it. Also the on and off button, pretty self-explanatory, turns the unit on and off. Also an M for the mode control, which controls the LED display. Also the TWS connection, which we'll talk about later. Further down on the unit, you can see the one inch by two inch passive radiator for that ultra low base. As far as measurements go, 3.8 inches for the height, 2.2 inches for the width, and 1.6 inches for the depth. Millimeter equivalents are there as well. Also size comparison of a cassette tape and a CD for those who prefer this method instead. Here are all the specs included for the unit. Uses Bluetooth 5.0, supports A2DP, AVRCP, 10 meter range, a specified 2.5 hour charge time and about four hour of playback time. I was able to get quite a bit more than that four hours. Let's talk about these Bluetooth protocols. A2DP is advanced audio distribution profile. It's used for streaming stereo music wirelessly to headphones or speakers over Bluetooth. AVRCP is audio video remote control protocol. However, it doesn't seem this speaker has that because it doesn't control anything from the speaker itself. The specs fail to mention TWS or true wireless stereo for Bluetooth, and this is enabled with this speaker, so you can actually use two for stereo operation. We'll check that later in the video. Next up, we'll power up the speaker and then connect it via Bluetooth and see how long it takes. Right at 14 seconds, not too bad. Now let's do some song demos. Right off the bat, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> the sound that's coming out of this tiny speaker. We can also press the M button on the back, which will change the different mode. There's three different modes for the LED VU segment, or you can turn it off. Seems like at the very highest volume level, there is just a little bit of distortion coming out of the speaker, but not too bad overall. It's a 1.5 inch speaker, so it's not going to blow you away. I figured the best way for me to show you the sound level is to use the sound level meter I got from Radio Shack a long time ago. This one's actually brand new in the box. I've never opened it up, so I'm going to open it up for you guys, and we're going to check it out, and this way we'll get an accurate measurement here. Now, we're going to use the C measurement for weighting. This is the one for music. The A weighting is more for noise. So let's switch it to C and let's try a song here about three feet or one meter away from the speaker and see what we get. C 
seemed to average around 82 to 83 dB with this song, but next we switched up to a song with vocals. We actually got up to 90 decibels, which is pretty impressive from this tiny speaker. To put it into perspective, we have this decibel chart, and we're somewhere between an electric vacuum, city traffic, or a hairdryer for the output of this particular speaker. Okay, so having one of these $11 speakers is good, but what about having two and trying this true wireless stereo Bluetooth function? Of course I got an extra one. That way I can show you guys. So let's get two of them. You have to power both speakers up first, then turn on your Bluetooth. Then you have to hit the M button on the back of one of these, and then you can connect the two. You guys know I'm all about the V pattern on EQs and I'm all about VU meters. These things look super dope. Okay, so if you're not smiling by now, you're obviously not using high quality speakers or headphones to listen to this. These things sound really cool and the visuals are just on tap. But what about this true wireless stereo? Is it really stereo? Let's find out. Left speaker. Right speaker. Left speaker. Right speaker. Now we have to tear down this $11 Bluetooth speaker to find out what's inside. And this is always the fun part for me is to get inside these miniature electronics to find out what makes them work. So let's take off four screws at the top, four at the bottom. Then we can slide the unit out of the case. And here you can see the units up closer, including this active speaker, the passive speaker, the VU meter, the amplifier and all that. So we're gonna take out some more screws as well so we can get to the goodies and also see the battery and everything on the inside. So let's keep going. After a little prying and everything, we had everything pulled apart. You can see all the individual components here, passive speaker, the VU meter cover, the speaker itself, there's the enclosure, there's the top and the bottom and the acrylic panel. Here is the circuit board that includes the amplifier, the Bluetooth module and all that. And the 1.5 inch speaker, check out the magnet on this thing. It's almost as big as the speaker itself. Four ohms, five watts. And we can see the capacitor here, 470 microfarad, 10 volt. And then we can see the audio amplifier chip, the HAA9811, which is five watts according to the chip manufacturer. And the JL here is the Bluetooth 5.0 chip. Overall, very simple design here. There's a battery and speaker connection, which can be unplugged. And the 600 milliamp battery, 3.7 volt there on the bottom. Anyone who's watched my channel before knows I usually do amp dyno testing to test output of amplifiers. So why not test the Bluetooth amplifier here to find out does it really do five watts yes we use two different phones here i'll talk about that when we get to the point first up let's try the iphone 10 and see with a four ohm load can we get to five watts not quite we got three watts but you do notice that we never got into clipping so maybe it does have the power so that's why we switched over to the s21 ultra by samsung to see if it had a little bit better bluetooth output so let's try the one kilohertz tone here with the four ohm resistor. And once again, three watts is as much as we could get, but we did not hit clipping. So that's a shame. It, may, it might have actually done the five watts had we had enough input. So we also tried it at two ohms, loading down two four ohm resistors, and we got close. We got four watts, but again, no clipping. So man, it's too bad. We couldn't get the maximum output of this amplifier. 
Here are the results we just showed. Too bad it doesn't have an aux input, so we could have used auxiliary instead of Bluetooth, but it is what it is. Next up, I thought about, hey, let's hook it up to some bigger speakers. See how this little amplifier powers some larger speakers. Here we go. So theoretically, you could buy this $11 Bluetooth speaker and make your passive speaker active, but the amplifier here is not very powerful, but it is powerful enough to make it sound better than it does in that little enclosure. Next up, let's talk about the pros and cons. First up, the value, unbeatable at $11. Decent sound, LED V emitter is sweet. Use two of these for wireless stereo pairing. Also, they're very small, easy to take around with you. Battery life was great. I was getting about six hours of battery life. USB-C charging is awesome as well. That TWS initial connection between two speakers was a little clunky in the beginning. It only has Bluetooth, no auxiliary inputs, no Bluetooth controls on the speaker, and it has limited volume and output. Overall, I had lots of fun playing around with this $11 speaker. I know some of you can say, man, you put a lot of work and effort into a video for $11 speaker, but hey, I wanted to show you guys everything I possibly could about this. If you appreciate it, make sure you smash that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Let me know below if you want to get one of these. Links in the video description. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. So after all those tests and demos, one thing I didn't show is how this compares to a normal cell phone. Let's try this $11 speaker versus two average cell phones and see how it sounds. Thank you.